Okay. My name is Lale Welsh and I'm the executive director of the NDF or the Neuromuscular Disease Foundation. Um, the disease that we're currently working on is HIBM, also known as G&E myopathy, which is a distal myopathy, starts in the legs and the extremities. Um, and it's very important for physicians to be aware of it because it's so often misdiagnosed as a different kind of muscular dif dystrophy. Some of the early symptoms that might identify HIBM as being different than Duchenne or a limb girdle or other mis muscular dystrophies is uh, muscle fatigue, of course, in general. Uh, foot drop is a very common early symptom uh, where they're unable to lift their foot and they drag it behind them on the floor, so limping. Uh, some patients also talk a little bit uh, about the inability to move their index finger, so that, that's another telltale sign that it's HIBM. But fortunately, we have two potential treatments in development. There's no treatment or cure right now, and the rate of progression of the disease varies between the patients. So somebody could be walking uh, for 20, 30 years with just the use of a cane, while other people's disease progresses fast and they can end up in a wheelchair within five years of, of being diagnosed. So um, there is, it's hard to, to measure the success of some of the treatment that's out there for it. Um, we do have Ultragenics which is coming up with a sialic acid uh, in large doses to make up for the loss of sialic acid in the muscle uh, which will we think retard the progression of the disease and the NIH is also working um, on, a, on a drug called Manic. So there are two treatments in, currently in phase three which is good. So We do have on our website a whole plethora of information for physicians and patients alike and that website address is ndf-hibm.org um, but they can also contact us and we can provide them any kind of information. We at this point feel that it's better for patients to do their own advocacy and put out information as much as possible, but this is a, an uphill battle that I'm sure all rare diseases face in that, you know, there's no, uh, there's no real attention, there's no knowledge about this, and most doctors have never heard of HIBM or GNE myopathy. We recently had a uh, patient symposium at UCLA. We're going to repeat that on an annual basis. It's a wonderful symposium, the largest one in the history of HIBM to date, uh, where we had a number of uh, uh, almost 100 patients and scientists and advocates come together uh, over a, a whole long day. Uh, we're going to be doing this on an annual basis. Um, and we have a gala fundraiser, an awareness campaign coming up on October the 14th at the Beverly Hills Hotel, which is a wonderful event, but also sheds a lot of light on the disease and, and for the patients and carriers alike. We often do screenings, so if there are people who want to know if they're a carrier, uh, we also do screenings for people at synagogues across the United States and other community places. Um, so yeah, we're, we're very active and we're, uh, we're only a, a, a few years old, but we are continuing to grow and we'll continue to promote events that encourage early detection.